Hey guys, so I'll close this up. Today I went to a Weight Watchers meeting. Not my Weight Watchers meeting, cause um, I just came back from this play with my best friend, and we were in the city all day, and I didn't feel like coming back to Brooklyn to go to my meeting, so. I went to one in the city and it was cool because, you know, I love going to new meetings and seeing everybody, um, seeing different leaders. This one was a man and I've never had a male leader ever. He was pretty cool. I liked him. Like, I could see me going to that meeting. Um, and plus they had a digital printout of your weight. My meeting must be back in the middle ages or whatever, but we still write down <laughs> the weight. Anyway, so... Nothing spectacular. I didn't gain weight. I didn't lose weight. I actually um, weighed in today at the same exact weight that I was last Tuesday. Yeah, 155.6. Um, not surprising because I felt extremely bloated on Friday night. Even though I saved points for liquor and everything like that, no, I felt blood on Saturday morning. Um, I drank liquor. I didn't have that much liquor. But I had things like, I had Smirnoff Ice, one. And I had um, Champagne. And I also had a little bit of Boone's Farm, which is only three points for like eight ounces. So yeah, I drank and then the next day I felt extremely bloated and I thought, is my period coming? Why do I feel this way? I felt so sluggish and blah and... You know, yucky. But um, I ate really well at my friend's house for the weekend. I didn't go overboard, really. Um, I had, what do we have for breakfast? I had cream of wheat, and I also had, um, for lunch, I, we had Panera. And I remember I got the black bean soup, and I also got um, that veggie sandwich, which surprisingly is six points for half of it. 12 points if you got the whole thing of the veggie sandwich from Panera. Watch out, guys. Even these chains where things are supposed to be healthy are not really that healthy. Um, whatever. I didn't really take that much of what I ate because I was busy having fun and not thinking of filming my food. But, <laughs> I mean. Uh, and then yesterday I really worked hard because I wanted to still kind of lose, which I didn't lose. But... Oh no, I'm still happy with the fact that I haven't gained weight. Um, right before I left for the city also, I checked my weight on my home scale because I thought that I wasn't going to go to the meeting and I wasn't going to go to any meeting today. So, and, and the home scale said that I weighed 154.8, which would have been a loss of 0.8, but I wasn't wearing any clothes. And, you know, I, I'm going to go by Weight Watchers. I was really happy to see 154 point something, but maybe maybe that'll be next week, you know? But anyway, 155.6. Happy I got. I'm still the same exact weight to the T. This is not normal. And gain or lose an inch. I gotta look back and see what I ate so I can know exactly what to eat when I'm maintaining. <laughs> How many calories have I eaten? Is What's this maintain calorie weight? Anyway, see you next week, guys. Bye. So, get yourself set up on the other side. In the beginning, you're going to keep your weight centered and then start to shift it forward. Okay? So let's start by rounding over. Curve the body and open it up. Good. This is a great exercise for the back of the shoulders, for your glutes, for your thighs. Now really try to shift that weight onto the left leg. Barely use that right leg. It's just there to help you balance. Very lightweight on it. Curve down. And up. Nice. All the way down. And lift. Good. Slowly. You really, the, the down part is just as challenging as the up because you're controlling the movement. You're working. This is your last one. All the way up. Jesus.